Hello everyone, it's me again, and I will be showing how to make you a door. Now this one's going to be confusing because in total there's going to be five event pages. So if you hear me stopping, that's because I'm thinking and making sure that I'm telling you the right information. I mean, I'm seeing what I'm supposed to do, it's just that I get... Nah, you'll see in a minute if I'm able to do it. But anyway. Alright. Let's say you've made a house, like something like this right here, and you want to put in the door. So, double click where you want the door, and name it door if you want to. That depends on you. The first page is going to contain a graphic of whatever door you're going to use that's fully closed. You want to make sure that the trigger is on action button, because you want to actually open the door with the button, and then... The pages later on will be a parallel process. So that means 2 through 5 is parallel process. Now on page 2, under conditions, you want to check the first switch. And you want to name one of your switches just door. Well, it could be like door, door 1, or one door. That depends on how you want to name it. Alright, now we're going to go back to page 1, and we're going to in go to our list of event commands, and insert a control switch, and you're going to tell it to control whatever you named your first door, if it's like door, door, door 1, one door, or whatever it is. And we go back to page 2. Now for graphic, you want to have the door partly open. And just a reminder, the trigger is going to be parallel process. Now, go to new event page, and we should be on page three. Okay, let me see. Just let me think a minute. The door. All right. So, go, again, under conditions, you want to check the switch and name another switch, door two, or whatever you want to call it. Just make sure that it's in order so you know what it is. Now, go back to page two, two, and you want to go to list event commands, control switches, and turn on door two. So, so far, for page one, you want to have control, control switches, door, and on page two, you want to have control switches, door two, or whatever you name it. Page three is going to have a more open door but not fully open yet and again parallel process as your trigger page four same thing as you did for the first two I mean pages two and three under conditions you're going to check it and name your switch door number three now uh, okay now we got the switch go back to page three control um, list of event commands Control switches, door number three. So again, that's going to be on your first page, door. On page two, door two. And on page three, door three. And on page four. Now this would be where you want to include like sounds of a door opening and probably your where you want to transfer your player. Don't hold me on that. I haven't tried it. If I do try it, I'll be sure to let you guys know on the side note whenever I'm yeah, on the side when I do get a chance to do it. Alright. And your graphic is going to be a fully open door. And again, I know you get tired of me saying this, but I'm just saying it so you so I'll remind you guys. Parallel process. Now, page five, you, you're going to make another switch and call it door four. And go back to page four, insert control switches, door four. Make sure that's on. So, to remind you guys one more time, page one is just door. Page two is door number two. Page three is door number three. And page four is door four with your sounds and possibly transferring player. 
Now five on your list commands, make sure that there is nothing there. And for graphic, it's going to be the same thing as page four or fully open door. And that's it, really. So, okay, how about I just see if my theory is correct. So we're go going to insert, transfer player. Oops, see, i got to make a map. Just give me a second here. Map properties. We're just going to put in Castletown. Oopsie. New map. Castletown. We're just going to fill it up. Not going to re really do anything big with it. So. so we go back to our events. Go to here. Go to page 4 to where we have in our sound. It does. You can put in any door opening sound. So we go to insert, transfer player. Right there. And we're just going to see if it's going to work. And we're going to make it appear up. Okay. And then save. And let's play test. Let me move this so you guys can see it. Come on, load. Thank ya. Alright, here's our little house. Ah, oh, it does work. So there you go. Now you know how to make a door and how to transfer a player inside the house. And close it out. And there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them, but make sure that they're all for the tutorial. I'll see you guys later.